Hello friends, this video on fractions part 18 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now that we have discussed both uh, like and unlike fractions, how do you think we will add mixed fractions? So we have already discussed about mixed fractions, right? So mixed fractions have something very interesting. They have the whole number part as well as the fractional part, something like 2, 3 by 4, 1, 1 by 3. So these are all mixed fractions. Now, if you have to add two such mixed fractions, so how will you add them? Because in that case, just by looking at them, you will not know if they are like fractions, if they are unlike fractions. Even if they are like fractions, you, you do not have just one denominator. You also have the whole number part. So how do you handle all of that? So let us look at an example. Now, there are two different methods of do adding mixed fractions. So now we will discuss the first method, method one. So in method one, what we do is whatever mixed fractions are given in the problem, we just convert them in the form of improper fractions. Because by now we all know that uh, mixed fractions are nothing but they are improper fractions which are uh, expressed in a way such that there is a separate whole number part and there is a separate fractional part. Otherwise, they are improper fractions only. So let us take an example. So the first example, we take 2, 3 by 4 plus 1, 1 by 4. Let's say that you have to add these two mixed fractions. So what you do, you convert this into improper fraction. How you convert into improper fraction? Remember, mixed to improper, you have to remember MAD. First multiply, then add. So you go like this, multiply, then add. So 4 to the 8, 8 plus 3, 11. So this is 11 by 4. What is this? 4 into 1, 4 plus 1. That is 5 by 4. So it is 11 by 4 plus 5 by 4. So these are like fractions again, same denominator. So you just need to add the numerators. So this is 16 by 4. So this would be the answer. Let's take another example where we deal with unlike fractions. For example, you have to add 2, 3 by 4 with 1, 1 by 5. So now you have different denominators, right? So they are unlike. But still, let us convert them into improper fractions first. So 4 into 2 is 8 plus 3 is 11. So 11 by 4 plus 5 into 1 is 5 plus 1 is 6. So 6 by 5. So in this case, what you what would be your next step? So next step, we will find out LCM of 4 and 5, which is 20. Now, once we have found out the LCM, our job is to convert each of these fractions into equivalent fractions. So we have to convert 11 by 4 into a form such that the denominator is 20. So for that, we multiply the numerator and denominator by 5. So you get 55 by 20. For the second case, 6 by 5. Again, you multiply the numerator and denominator by 4 so that you get 24 by 20. So now 11 by 4 can be written as 55 by 20 and 6 by 5 can be written as 24 by 20. So this becomes 55 plus 24 divided by 20. So 55 plus 24 is 79 by 20. So 79 by 20 would be the sum of these two mixed fractions. So this was the first method where we just write the mixed fraction as improper fraction and then we do the addition like how we do for like and unlike fractions. Now what is, is this? Now what is the second method of adding mixed fractions? So let us have a look at this method. So in this case, we add the whole part separately and the fractional part separately. That's again interesting. So let's take an example. Let's say you have to add 2, 3 by 4 plus 1, 1 by 4. So which is the whole number part? So this is the whole number part for this mixed fraction. This is the whole number part for this mixed fraction. So we add the whole number separately. That is 2 plus 1 is added separately. And the fractional parts, that is 3 by 4 and 1 by 4, these are added separately. So 2 plus 1 is 3. 3 by 4 plus 1 by 4 would be 3 plus 1 by 4. So this is equal to 3 plus 4 by 4, right? So 4 by 4 is 1. So this becomes 3 plus 1. So this becomes 4. So 4 is the answer. So this is one way of adding the whole part separately and the fractional part separately. So in this case, you do not convert it into improper fraction. Let's look at another example. Let's say you have to add 2, 3 by 4 plus 1, 1 by 5. So how do you add them? 
again pick the whole numbers which are 2 and 1. So 2 and 1 to be added separately and 3 by 4 and 1 by 5 to be added separately. So 2 plus 1 is 3 and how do you add these two? They are unlike fractions. Do so you take the LCM? So LCM of 4 and 5 is 20. So the denominator in the result would be 20. Now if you convert this into like fraction, you have to multiply 4 into 5. So when you multiply 4 into 5, so 3 also you have to multiply by 5, so you would get 15. In this case, 5 into 4 would give you 20. So in the numerator also you will multiply by 4. So this would be 4. So this becomes 3 plus 19 by 20. So now when you add these two, so how do you add these two? Again the same thing because both of these are unlike so here 3 is like 3 by 1 plus 19 by 20. So you would follow the same technique where you take the LCM of 1 and 20 which is 20, right? So 1 into 20 would be 20 and so, so you multiply 1 by 20. So this also you will have to multiply by 20. So you get 60 plus in this case it would be 19. Because 20 into 1, so 19 also into 1. So basically I am converting it into equivalent fractions. So instead of doing it separately, I'm just doing it directly here. If you want, you can do it separately first. The 60 plus 19 would be 79 divided by 20. So this would be the answer. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.